Just remember that when you're working on the wrong side row, when you're going back along the wrong side, you have to keep your posts on the front or the right side. So you can either make a back post double crochet or turn your work, make a front post double crochet, and then turn your work back around and continue back across. Just remember to keep your stitch count the same. So in the center there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven until your next middle post. So you don't confuse your stitches. And your stitch count should be 28 again. So now I'm on the eighth row. So I'm going to chain three. and turn my work and get ready for the eighth row. Now we're going to make a double crochet decrease stitch. So what that means is we're going to take these two stitches, these next two stitches, and make them one. It's called a double crochet decrease stitch. So yarn over, you're going to go into the next stitch over, you want to bring up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and then go through two of the loops. You have two loops remaining on your hook. Now you're going to yarn over. You're going to go into the next stitch over. You're going to bring up a loop. You have four loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, go through two of those loops. You have three loops remaining on your hook. You want to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through those three remaining loops to complete a double crochet decrease stitch. Then you're going to make one double crochet into the next three stitches. So one double crochet into the next three stitches. This is what your work should look like so far, and then come back. Now you're going to turn your work, and you're going to make a front post double crochet around, around the previous row's front post double crochet. So you can see how we worked past the previous row's front post double crochet, because now we want to take the curve and move it this way. So you're going to take your crochet hook, you're going to yarn over, and you're going to make your front post double crochet. And then you're going to turn your work back around. Then you're just going to make one double crochet into each of the stitches until you reach the center front post double crochets and then come back. So I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six stitches of one double crochet. Then I'm going to turn my work, make a front post double crochet around the next stitch, or you can make a back post like I showed you before, back post double crochet. I'm just going to make a front post and then turn my work. One double crochet into the next two stitches. And then front post. I turn my work to make the front post turn my work back around to get ready for one double crochet. Make one double crochet into the next six stitches and then come back 
So one double crochet into the next six stitches. Then turn your work and you're going to make you're going to skip a stitch and then make your front post double crochet. So skip the next stitch, make a front post double crochet. Then you're going to turn your work back around. You're going to make Then you're going to make a double crochet into the skipped stitch. So just yarn over, go behind with your hook and bring up a loop. You can see how I just went into the stitch of the skipped stitch, not the post. And then I'm going to bring up a loop to make my double crochet in the skipped stitch. Then you're going to make a double crochet into the same stitch as the front post double crochet. So that's my second. Then I'm going to make one into the th double crochet into the next stitch, which will be my third. Then I'm going to make my double crochet decrease stitch. So I'm going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, yarn over, go through two of the loops, yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through two of the loops and then yarn over and go through the three remaining loops to complete a double crochet decrease stitch. Then you have one stitch left, yarn over, go into the remaining stitch and make your double crochet. So this is what it'll look like on the back and then on the front this is what it looks like. So on this side I have one, two, three, four, five. This side I have one, two, three, four, five. But actually, that's the posts. The stitch stitches you have one, two, three, four. And then you have the fifth one here. Same thing on this side, one, two, three, four, five. And then in the center. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's how your work should be. I'm going to give you the total stitch count for that row, but I want to make sure that your ends are the same as mine, and then these center stitches are the same. Just helps you so you know the stitch count of mine so that yours will have the same stitch count when you're done with that row. So we ended up with 28 stitches for that row and you can see how you have the curve going inward now. So even though we took a stitch away from the ends, you still added one here on the front post double crochet stitch. But you ended that eighth row with 28 stitches for the row. So now we're on the ninth row. You're going to chain three. Turn your work and then we're going to make a double crochet decrease stitch for the next two stitches. So you just yarn over, go into the next stitch over, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through two, yarn over, go into the next stitch over, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through the three remaining stitches. Then you're going to make one double crochet into the next four stitches. Then 
So you can see how I'm going one stitch past the previous rows, front post, double crochet, because I still want the, it to curve inwards. So now I'm going to go ahead and make my front post double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over, go over the previous stitches post, and make my front post double crochet. And that will continue to curve it inwards. And then I'm going to make a double crochet into the next stitch. Oop, actually, I skipped a stitch. Oh, no, I didn't. Let's see if it lays down. So yes, I went into the next stitch. You don't want to work into the stitch that already has a double crochet in it. So work your double crochet into the next stitch. So that's one. two, three, four, and five. So one double crochet into the next five stitches and then that will bring you to your center front post double crochet. Go ahead and make your front post double crochet around that stitch then one double crochet into the next two stitches and then your front post double crochet and then this is what your work should look like so far then you're going to make one double crochet into the next five stitches Then you're going to skip a stitch and then work your front post double crochet on the opposite side. Then you're going to turn your work and you're going to make a double crochet into the skipped stitch. So here's the skipped stitch. So I'm going to go behind the top of the stitch with my crochet hook go through both loops of the skipped stitch, bring up a loop, make your double crochet, then you can turn your work back around. Then you should have, including that front post double crochet stitch, you have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches remaining. So make one double crochet into the next three stitches including that front post double crochet stitch, so that's one, one double crochet into the next stitch, that's two, and then one double crochet into that next stitch makes three. Then you're going to make your front post double crochet, I mean, sorry, you're going to make your double crochet decrease stitch in the next two stitches. So double crochet, decrease, stitch. Then you're going to make one double crochet into the remaining stitch. And this is how your work should be looking so far. I'm just going to count the stitches with you to make sure that we ended up the same count for that row. So on the other side, you can see how I have the nice curve. On the end I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I have my front post double crochet. 
On the other side, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I have my front post double crochet, so both ends are equal. Then I have, here's my front post double crochet, I have one, two, three, four, five, and then the center. On the other side, I have one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to give you the total count for the row. So I still have 28 stitches total. And it's for the same reason I told you before. We just move stitches around. So we made our decrease stitch, but we added a stitch behind the front post double crochet and we're curving it inwards. But we still have 28 stitches for the row. And that brings us to row 10. So now we're on the 10th row. Go ahead and chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Go ahead and turn your work. So now you're going to make a double crochet decrease stitch for the next 2. Then you're going to make one double crochet into the next five stitches. Then you're going to turn your work. You can see how we passed the front post double crochet in the previous row, one stitch over. You're going to make a front post double crochet around the previous row's front post double crochet. Then go ahead and turn your work back around. Then you're going to make one double crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to make a double crochet decrease stitch. and then one double crochet into the next stitch. So go ahead, work the center. I'm going to make a back post double crochet. Because I'm keeping the ridges on the front, I'm going to make one double crochet in the next two stitches. and then I'm going to make my back post double crochet around the center. And then this is what it looks like on the front so far. Then you're going to make one double crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to make your double crochet decrease stitch So double crochet decrease stitch, then one double crochet into the next stitch. Go ahead and turn your work. You can see that we stopped right before the curve on the other side, so we're going to skip a stitch and then make a front post double crochet. So yarn over, skip a stitch. Make your front post, double crochet, then you're going to turn your work back around, you're going to make a double crochet into the skipped stitch, and 
and then turn your work back around. So now, after you turn your work back around, that should leave you with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches remaining. So this next stitch is the same stitch as your front post double crochet. So you're going to make one double crochet into that next stitch, the same stitch as your front post double crochet. Then one double crochet into the next stitch. It's the second. One double crochet into the next stitch, which is the third. One double crochet into the next stitch, which is the fourth. Then you're going to make your double, double crochet decrease stitch. and then make one double crochet into the remaining stitch. And you just completed your tenth row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm just going to go over the count with you. Make sure you have the same count as me. So here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven before my front post. This side I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven before my front post. Then I have one, two, three before the center. On this side I have one, two, three before the center. So now I'm going to give you the total stitch count for the row. So for the 10th row, you should have ended up with 26 stitches. So two less stitches than the previous row. And the reason for that is because we made those two extra decreased stitches in the center. Now we're going to be working on our 11th row. So go ahead and chain three. Turn your work. Then you're going to make a double crochet decrease stitch. So I made my double crochet decrease stitch. Then you're going to make one double crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to make a double crochet decrease stitch. Then you're going to make one double crochet into the next three stitches. So I'm going one stitch past the previous rows, front post, double crochet. Then you're going to make your front post double crochet around the previous rows, front post, double crochet. Then you're going to make a double crochet into the next stitch. Now remember, you're not going to be working into the stitch that already has a double crochet in it. You're going to be working into the next stitch. So this is one. Next stitch. Second double crochet. Then you're going to make a front post double crochet. And then make one double crochet into the next two stitches, and then your front post double crochet, and then come back. 
Then you're going to make one double crochet into the next two stitches. Then you're going to skip a stitch and then make a front post double crochet. So skip a stitch, make a front post double crochet around the previous rows, front post double crochet. Then you're going to turn your work. You're going to make a double crochet into the skipped stitch. So I'm making a double crochet into the skipped stitch. And then you can turn your work back around. This is how your work should look so far.